This is Chris with Ables. Like, subscribe. Subscribe to Team W Wrestling on YouTube. Subscribe to my other channel, Word of Chris. And subscribe to this channel, Chris with Ables. And follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and both of my TikToks. I'll be down there in the description box. And I am here to do my WWE Monday Night Raw, June 5th, 2023 reviews. So here we go discussing about tonight's episode of Monday Night Raw. Now we kick off the show with the new World Heavyweight Champion, Seth freaking Rollins. So yeah, Seth Rollins comes out, and yeah, he starts talking, uh, talking about how he's a visionary, uh, the revolutionary, and stuff like that, and the new World Heavyweight Champion, how he's going to be World Champion for a while, and all that stuff, but then he gets interrupted by Finn Balor and Damian Priest, The Judgment Day, so yeah, The Judgment Day comes out, and yeah, Damian Priest starts cutting like a baby freeze promo on Seth, Seth was talking about how he will be facing Damian Priest tonight for the World Heavyweight Championship, and he's going to beat Damian Priest. And uh, then Damian Priest was like, "How? Told me how he don't need nobody from the Judgment Day. He can beat Seth Rollins on his own. He don't need Rhea Ripley. He don't need Dominic Mysterio. He don't need Finn Balor. He can beat Seth Rollins all by himself." But then Finn Balor gave him like that side eye type thing, uh, like just looking at Damian Priest in a weird way. But yeah, after Priest said that. But yep, uh, that's what happened there. And Priest was like cutting a baby face promo technically right there. Uh, and then uh, Seth was talking about, oh, where's uh, Dominic and Rhea? They ain't going to jump me, are they? And uh, Do and then Damien was like, no, they're doing their own thing. And Seth was like, oh, of course they're doing their own thing. And then like Seth starts throwing in some jabs on, uh, you know, Finn Balor. Uh, Finn Balor jumps into at one point. Uh, talking about how Damien Priest needs to be careful with Seth Rollins and not. Uh, Rollins is like, yeah, we already know. He needs to be careful just like how he had been, right? And then uh, starts poking fun at his shoulder and all that stuff. And then Damian Priest was talking about how Seth Rollins would have the shortest world title reign in WWE history. And uh, Seth Rollins is like, uh, I doubt that, but at least I've been world champion longer than this man right here pointing at Finn Balor. So, yeah. Just throwing in some more jabs at Finn Balor, which was pretty funny. He started laughing and walking off. So, yeah. That's what happened there. Pretty good segment. I really liked it. It was a good one. But, yeah. Uh, that's what happened there. Still to come later on tonight on Monday Night Raw. We will see uh, The Miz hosting Miz TV with a special guest, Cody Rhodes, on Raw tonight. Knowing that Seth Rollins will be defending the World Heavyweight Championship up against Damian Priest in the main event. And, uh, yeah. Many more stuff to come. But, yeah. Uh, I'll see you guys later until the next thing that happens on Monday Night Raw. See you guys later. Until then. So the next thing that happened on Monday Night Raw, it was the first match of the night. It was Becky Lynch versus Sonya Deville with Chelsea Green at ringside in a one-on-one -on -one Money in the Bank qualifying match. So yeah, this was the first match of the night. And this match, it was going okay and stuff. During this match, uh, Trish Stratus music hits and she comes out there with Zoe Stark that's standing on the ramp watching this match. Uh, during this match, we see the referee has back turn and then Chelsea Green interfered by hitting a big boot onto uh, Becky Lynch, laying her out outside of the ring and then she tossed her back into the ring and then that's when Sonya Deville hits that nice knee to the face onto Becky she pins her one two Becky barely kicking out at two and then uh, during this match uh, Chelsea Green was trying to interfere again but Becky Lynch had enough grabs her and starts tossing her into the barricade and stuff uh, multiple times and then Sonya Deville gets out there trying to stop her from doing that and then Becky Lynch starts doing the same to her laying her out outside of the ring throws her back into the ring but then eventually Sonya Deville starts taking control of this match once again uh, Sonya climbs up the second turnbuckle and jumps off but she gets caught by Becky Lynch and Becky Lynch hits the manhandle slam onto Sonya Deville pinning her for the three count so yeah Becky Lynch defeated Sonya Deville tonight in a one-on-one -on -one match, and she qualifies into the women's Money in the Bank ladder match. That's what happened. It was a pretty good match. I'll give that match two and a half stars. That's why I'll give it, but yeah, uh, that's what happened there. So yeah, uh, she qualifies next to Zelina Vega in that match. But then after that, we see Byron Saxton interviewing the undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn backstage. And he was talking about the bloodline stuff. And Sami Zayn was like, well, I told you what was going to happen with the Usos and uh, the bloodline and all that stuff. And he was talking. And then they get interrupted by Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanni Vinci Imperium. And Kevin Owens was like, I'm tired of this. Didn't we already told you the unwritten rule last week where if we don't mention your name, you don't come up. If we mention your name, then you come up. So why y'all keep on coming? 
setting up her stuff. And then Kevin Owens just going off on them. And then we see the Intercontinental Champion Gunther come up. And Gunther tells Kevin Owens that he needs to chill out and stuff. Uh, and stop with the temper and stuff like that. So yeah, that's what Gunther was talking about. And then uh, Kevin Owens was talking about like, oh, you talking about my temper, huh? You talking about my temper? Let's have a match right now. And then Kevin Owens starts walking away. So yeah, up next it looks like it'll be Kevin Owens versus Gunther one-on-one up next on Raw. So yeah, that match will be happening up next. And still to come later on tonight, Seth Rollins will be facing Damian Priest for the World Heavyweight Championship. And later on tonight, Cody Rhodes will be on Miz TV. So yeah, many more stuff to come, and there's uh, another, uh, and then we got Zoe Stark versus Natalia in a Money in the Bank qualifying match as well. So yeah, a lot more stuff to come. So yeah, uh, see you guys later. Until then. So the next thing to happen on Monday Night Raw, it was a one-on-one match. It was the Intercontinental Champion Gunther with Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanna Vinci Imperium versus one half of the undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions Kevin Owens with Sami Zayn at ringside in a one-on-one match. So yeah, Gunther versus Kevin Owens in a one-on-one match. And this match, it was a freaking banger. It was just going back and forth between these two guys. Uh, Kevin Owens trying to avoid that shot from Gunther multiple times in this match. Uh, at one point, Gunther obviously hits that nice ass drop kick that he does all the time. But then him and Kevin Owens is going back at it multiple times. And then at one point, we see Kevin Owens hit the Fisherman Buster onto Gunther. He pins him one, two. Gunther barely kicking out at two. Uh, and Gunther starts fighting back at the end and stuff, uh, taking Kevin Owens down. Uh, by slamming him, by throwing him off the top turnbuckle, and then Gunther climbs up the top turnbuckle. He jumps off with the big splash, but Kevin Owens puts his knees up, so Gunther lands on his knees. Kevin Owens then climbs up the top turnbuckle and jumps off with a swanton bomb onto Gunther. He pins him one, two. Gunther barely kicking out at two as well, but then we see Giovanna Vinci popping up on the ring apron, arguing with Kevin Owens. But then Sami Zayn comes over there knocking. Vinci off the ring apron, him and Giovanna Vinci's going at it, and then Ludwig Kaiser jumping in, so yeah, uh, Vinci and Kaiser's beating up Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens gets out there beating up uh, Giovanna Vinci, and he grabs uh, Ludwig Kaiser and throws him back in, throws him into the ring, Owens gets back into the ring, Kaiser was trying to hit him, but Owens ducks, he kicks Kaiser in the stomach, and then hits him with a stunner, laying him out, and then that's when Gunther takes advantage by coming up behind Kevin Owens, rolling him up for the one, two, three, so yeah, Gunther defeated Kevin Owens tonight on Monday Night Raw. That's what happened. Really, really good match, though. A uh, really great match between Gunther and Kevin Owens. I'll give that match three and a half stars as well. Give it. It was a really good match. If you have yet, go check it out. It was just a freaking banger between those two guys, obviously. But yeah, that's what happened there. Gunther defeated Kevin Owens tonight. Uh, by the way, before the match even started, they did show a uh, pretty much a package of uh katana chance and uh and Caden carter uh on you know coming from nxt and they're coming to monday night raw they just showed a video package of them which was pretty cool and stuff so yeah that's what's happening there it'll be coming soon to raw but yeah still to come later on tonight on raw we will see seth rollins defending the world heavyweight championship up against damian priest Later on tonight in the main event, not only that, we'll see uh, The Miz hosting Miz TV with a special guest, Kevin, uh, Cody Rhodes, tonight. And up next, we'll be seeing the new WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler, up next on Monday Night Raw. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Until the next thing that happens on Monday Night Raw. See you guys later. Until then. So the next thing that happened on Monday Night Raw, it was a tag team match. But before we talk about that tag team match, we got to talk about a few things that was happening backstage, a few segments. Now we see uh, Matt Riddle getting interviewed backstage by Kathy Kelly. Uh, and yeah, he was talking about how, you know, Gunther would have lost against Kevin Owens if the, uh, if Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanna Vinci was at ringside stuff because the numbers game and all that stuff. So yeah, that's what he was talking about. And then all of a sudden we see Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanna Benji coming up interview, uh, interrupting Matt Riddle's interview and stuff. And they was talking a lot of crap, uh, talking about how the ring general could beat him. And, uh, you know, Matt Riddle was disrespecting Gunther and all that stuff. And then, uh, then all of a sudden Kaiser pushes Riddle 
And then uh, Riddle was like, hey, you better watch what you're doing or whatever. He goes like, oh, for oh, and then he pushes Riddle again. Riddle had enough. He starts brawling with uh, Kaiser, and then he throws him over these crates. And then Venture was trying to kick him in the stomach, but he got his foot caught. And Matt Riddle locks on the ankle lock onto Giovanna Vinci up until a bunch of officials had pulled him off. So, yeah, uh, that's what happened there. Pretty cool segment, though. But then after that, we see Byron Saxton interviewing the new WWE Women's Tag Team Champions Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler backstage and they was talking about how you know they dominated the match last week that Fatal 4 Tag Team match and that's how they became the new WWE Women's Tag Team Champions and all that stuff so yeah that's what he was talking about but then they get interrupted by Caden Carter and Katana Chance which they're the newest members on the roster and all that stuff and they come up and they will somehow how they want to match up against Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler to make a name for themselves and all that stuff. And then there was and then uh, Ronda Rousey was talking about, oh, is that stupidity or something? And then uh, Shayna Baszler was like, no, nah, I think it's more like ignorance or whatever, but it's like bravery, you know. But let's see what they can do then in the ring. So, yeah, uh, that's what happened there. And then they go to the ring. So, yeah, we'll get a tag team match right then there. Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler versus Kata uh, Katana Chance and... Caden Carter and a tag team match and this match it was a pretty good match it was going back and forth between these two tag teams and everything uh at one point we see Caden Carter and we seen Carter and Chance hit their tag team finisher move when we see uh Katana Chance grabbing Ronda Rousey in the neck breaker position Caden Carter climbed up the uh top turnbuckle and she jumps off with the 450 splash with the neck breaker combination uh and Caden Carter pins uh, Ronda Rousey, one, two, Shayna Baszler barely breaking up the pin by dragging Caden Carter out of the ring, but then that's when Katana Chance jumped off the still steps with a big drop kick onto her, taking her out. Uh, Ronda Rousey and, um, uh, Caden Carter was going at it inside the ring, and then, uh, Katana Chance got tagged in, and Shayna Baszler gets tagged in at one point, and then, uh, it was enough right there, and, uh, yeah, Shayna Baszler locked on the Kokita Clutch eventually, onto katana uh onto katana chance and it made her tap out so yeah uh ronda rousey and Shayna baszler defeated Caden carter and katana chance tonight in the tag team match that's what happened uh pretty good match though uh it made their name they made their names pretty much uh in this match but yeah it was still a good match though pretty good tag team match uh for that match i'll give it two and a half three stars that's why i'll give it i'll give it three stars it was a pretty good one but then after that match we see ricochet backstage and uh you know he's uh getting ready for his match against shitsuke nakamura up next but then he gets interrupted by bronson reed and bronson reed was talking about how he don't get why that ricochet is in the money in the bank ladder match and he's not after he done defeated ricochet like two weeks ago and stuff and then ricochet was like well i earned my chance i defeated a two-time grand slam champion and Miz, and uh, you lost to Shinsuke Nakamura last week. Your undefeated streak is now over. And that's what he was talking about, and Bronson was getting mad, and then uh, Shinsuke Nakamura comes up, and he goes like, yeah, I defeated you. I ended your undefeated streak. Stuff like that. That's what happened there. And then uh, Bronson Reed was like, I'll get you next time. I just had a bad night. And then walks away. And then Ricochet and uh, Shinsuke Nakamura was talking. They were somehow they were just going to beat each other. And Shinsuke was like, okay, I'll see you in the ring. So, yeah, up next it will be Ricochet versus Shinsuke Nakamura 101 up next on Raw. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Until then. So the next thing that happened on Monday Night Raw, it was a one-on-one -on -one match. It was Ricochet versus Shinsuke Nakamura one-on-one. -on -one. And yeah, this match, it was a pretty good match. It was going back and forth between these two guys. Ricochet doing his high-flying moves. Uh, Shinsuke Nakamura doing his moves, which are all nice and stuff. Uh, I always like that slide in German suplex that uh, Shinsuke does when he places his uh, opponent on the second rope and he just slides like when he's sliding out of the ring. He's that German suplex. He had a nice one on Ricochet, which was pretty cool. But then at one point we see Ricochet taking control of this match. He hits the recoil, uh, the code breaker pretty much onto Shinsuke Nakamura. Ricochet climbs up the top turnbuckle, you know, about to hit that fort about to hit that uh shooting star press or whatever and then uh shinsuke nakamura gets back up he's going at it with uh ricochet right there like shinsuke's still standing on the mat and everything so he hasn't climbed up yet and ricochet's trying to signal him like hey look behind you and by that time uh shinsuke turns around 
we see Bronson Reed running in, and Ricochet jumps off the top turnbuckle, and he lands on his feet, jumping over Bronson Reed. So Bronson Reed uh, pretty much runs into Shinsuke Nakamura in the corner, laying him out, flattening him out. Uh, Ricochet jumps on Bronson Reed's back, trying to hit like a lock on sleeper hole, but then uh, Bronson Reed hits a big splash with a ricochet on his back onto Shinsuke, taking him out, and then he lays out uh, Ricochet as well. He climbs up the top turnbuckle and jumps off with the tsunami onto Ricochet, laying him out. So yeah, it was a no contest between Ricochet and uh, Shinsuke Nakamura tonight for that match and what happened after the match. I'll give it... I'll give it two stars. That's why I'll give it. It was a pretty good match. Or, actually, I'll give it two and a half stars. It was a good match between Shinsuke Nakamura and uh, Ricochet. But, obviously, with what happened and stuff, like the match ending in no contest. But, I'm taking a guess that eventually Bronson Reed will be going into the Money in the Bank ladder match. Eventually, I think so, at least. But, yep, uh, that's what happened there. And then, after that, we see Chad Gable, Otis, and uh, Maxine Dupree, Alpha Academy, talking backstage. And... Max seems like, I don't know why those Viking regular guys is trying to go after us and all that stuff. And then uh, Chad Gable was like, it's okay, we got the brains, we got the brawn, and we got the beauty in this. So, yeah. And he was arguing with Maxine, talking about, that's not Otis, it is Otis. <laughs> so, yeah. That's what was going on there. And then uh, Maxine Dupree eventually walked away. But, yeah. Up next, we'll, and then we see Cody Rhodes walking backstage. So, yeah. Up next, Cody Rhodes will be on Miz TV on Raw. So, yeah. See you guys later. Until then. So the next thing that happened on Monday Night Raw, we see The Miz hosting Miz TV, and he introduces a special guest, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes comes out, and he calls Miz Mike, and uh, Miz was like, no, in the ring, my name ain't Mike. My first name is V, and then my last name is Miz, The Miz. So yeah, that's what uh, Miz was talking about, pretty funny and stuff, and, he was, and everybody was chatting Mike and stuff like that. But then, you know, Cody Rhodes was talking about how the Beast, Brock Lesnar, will not be on Raw anytime soon because, you know, he's in hibernation or whatever. So, yeah, he, he'll just be gone for a while. And, yeah, the Miz was like, yeah, we kind of figured that. But, you know what? I got a special guest for you, Cody. He's a, uh, you know, he's a generational talent just like you and everything. Start hyping this man up and everything. And he introduces his uh, special, special guest. Uh, Dominic Mysterio. So, yeah, he comes out with the SmackDown Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley. Uh, Dominic comes out, and, yeah, Dominic starts talking to Cody and st uh, starts talking about, like, uh, you're injured, so why ain't you home with your baby daughter and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's what um, Dominic was calling him, and uh, Dominic was like, you know what, you're something just like my dad, a deadbeat. So, yeah, that's what Dominic said to uh, Cody, which was pretty funny. And then uh, Cody was home how, uh, just like him, uh, Dominic's dad, Ray, uh, had a lot of mistakes, and Dominic is one of them. So, yeah, that's what Cody said, which was pretty funny as well. And then uh, Dominic, like, he was about to walk out the ring, you know, about to leave out, and Cody has back turn, and then Dominic comes back in there, turns Cody around, slaps the hell out of him, and he hides right behind Rhea Ripley's back. And, uh, you know, Cody wasn't going to do nothing because Rhea Ripley's in front of him, so, he couldn't do nothing there, and Dominic gets out the ring with Rhea, and then uh, Miz was, like, all smiling and stuff, and then he just gets punched in the face with the cast by Cody Rhodes, getting laid out. So, yeah, pretty good segment, but, yeah, it looks like we're getting a feud between Cody Rhodes and Dominic Mysterio for Money in the Bank. I mean, it makes sense. It gives Dominic and Cody something to do at Money in the Bank, because, obviously, uh, Cody will be facing Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam. So, yeah, it makes perfect sense. But yeah, uh, that's what happened there. But then after that, we see uh, Zoe Stark coming out to the ring with Trish Stratus. So yeah, up next, Zoe Stark will be facing Natalia in a Money in the Bank qualifying match up next on Raw. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Until then. So the next thing that happened on Monday Night Raw, it was a one-on-one -on -one match. It was Zoe Stark with Trish Stratus at ringside versus Natalia in a one-on-one -on -one Money in the Bank qualifying match. So yeah, this match, it was a pretty good match. It was going back and forth between these two women up until during the match, Natalia injures herself when she, jumps over, when she jumped over Zoe Stark injuring her foot in this match. 
Zoe Stark starts going after her leg, just attacking and stuff, doing like DDTs to the leg and all that stuff, uh, onto Natalia. But then Natalia starts coming back at the ending of this match. But then eventually, when the referee was paying attention to Zoe Stark, Natalia was on the ring apron. That's when Trish Stratus comes up attacking the leg by sweeping it under Natalia. And then Zoe Stark grabs Natalia and hits her finish move C360 onto her and then pins her for the one, two, three. So yeah, Zoe Stark defeated Natalia and she qualifies into the women's Money in the Bank ladder match uh, alongside. Becky Lynch and Zelina Vega. So yeah, that's what happened there. For that match, I'll give it two stars. That's why I'll give it. It was an okay match. But then after that match, we see Paul Heyman backstage and he's talking to the camera, talking to the fans, talking about how this Friday on SmackDown, Jay Uso will have to make a decision. So yeah, uh, Jay Uso will be making a decision. He was talking about how you can share a womb with your twin. But you got a bond with the, uh, with, you know, with the tribal chief and stuff. So, yeah, that's what he was talking about. And you can stand alongside Solo Sokoa. So, yeah, that's what uh, Paul Heyman said. And, uh, he said that uh, Jay Uso will acknowledge that fact this Friday on SmackDown. But up next, we're going to be seeing Cedric Alexander and Shelton Benjamin taking on in this year up next in the Tatsy match. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Until then. So the next thing to happen on Monday Night Raw, it was supposed to be a tag team match. It was going to be Sangha and Veer Mahan with Jinder Mahal uh, and Dashir versus Shelton Benjamin and Cedric Alexander in a tag team match. But that match didn't happen because uh, Dashir starts attacking Shelton Benjamin and Cedric before the match, uh, throwing Se uh, Shelton out of the ring. And then Veer hitting that vicious clothesline onto Cedric, which turned them inside out. And then they lift up uh, uh, Cedric, and they hit their tag team finish move. That sidewalk slam elbow drop off the top turnbuckle, uh, that combination or whatever, onto Cedric, laying him out. And then they start doing the pose and stuff in the middle of the ring. Referee's checking on Cedric, and he says the match ain't going to be happening now. And then in the sheer picks up Cedric again and hits that move once again, laying him out. So, yeah, that's what happened there. Uh, in the sheer just laying out Schultz and Benjamin and Cedric Alexander tonight. But then... After that, we see uh, Seth Rollins getting ready for his match because up next will be the main event. Seth Rollins versus Damian Priest, one-on-one for the World Heavyweight Championship up next on Monday Night Raw. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Until then. So, the next thing to happen on Monday Night Raw, it was the main event. It was the World Heavyweight Champion, Seth Rollins versus Damian Priest, one-on-one. -on -one. And, yeah, Damian Priest don't got nobody at ringside. So, yeah, we get to the match. And this match, it was a pretty good match. It was going back and forth and everything between Seth Rollins and Damian Priest. Uh, Priest was taking control of this match a lot of times with Seth. And Seth was doing the same. You know, both of them going at it and stuff. Uh, Seth, at one point, well, Damian Priest was taking control, mocking Seth and everything. Up until Seth hits a pedigree onto Damian Priest. He pinned Priest. One, two, Priest barely kicking out at two. Um, Priest at one point hit South of Heaven onto Seth Rollins, and he almost got the three count, but Seth barely kicking out at two as well. Uh, and then we see, uh, well, actually, before that actually happened, we see uh, Damian, Pri well, we see Seth Rollins actually grab Damian Priest and power bombed him into the barricade and stuff, uh, laying him out. And then when he tosses Damian Priest back into the ring, we see D uh, Finn Balor coming up, but then he gets caught with a super kick when he jumped off the barricade by Seth Rollins getting laid out. And then that's when Seth got back into the ring. He got hit with South of Heaven, and then that's when the pinfall happened. But yeah, Seth kicked out to Damian Priest looking at Finn Balor like, why the hell are you here? Like, I told you to stay backstage pretty much. That's what Damian Priest was giving Finn Balor that look and just saying, like, why are you here? Uh, I told you I was going to do it all alone. And then uh, Priest turns around. He gets super kicked and stuff by uh, Seth Rollins. And then Seth hits the curb stump onto Damian Priest. And then he pins him for the one, two, three. So yeah, Seth Rollins defeated Damian Priest tonight on Monday Night Raw in the main event, and he has retained the World Heavyweight Championship. That's what happened. It was a pretty good match, but then after the match ended, after Seth Rollins starts celebrating and stuff, he turns around, Finn Balor's right there, and him and Finn Balor standing face-to-face. -face. So, yeah, it looks like we're going to probably get Seth Rollins versus Finn Balor at Money in the Bank for the World Heavyweight Championship. But, yeah, uh, that's what happened there. It was a pretty good match, though, between Seth Rollins and Damian Priest. Um... 
look like eventually we're going to get Judgment Day breaking up, probably Damian Priest versus Ben Balor at SummerSlam. That's why I'm probably taking a guess at. But yeah, like I said, it was still a pretty good main event between uh, Seth Rollins and Damian Priest. A uh, really good one. I'll give it three and a half stars. That's why I'll give it. it was a good one. But match of the night for me is probably Gunther versus Kevin Owens. That match was a freaking banger. This match was as well. And there was a few matches that was still pretty good. Like There was some stuff that was good at on Raw. Like, I'm not even going to lie. Tonight's episode, Monday Night Raw, I'll give it eight stars. That's why I'll give it. It was a pretty good show. But yeah. Uh, that has been my WWE Monday Night Raw reviews. Like, subscribe. Subscribe to Team W Wrestling on YouTube. Subscribe to my other channel, Word of Chris. And subscribe to this channel, Chris Bales. And follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and both of my TikToks. I'll be down there in the description box. And I'll see you guys later for uh, this Friday's Friday Night Smackdown reviews and this Wednesday's AEW Dynamite reviews. See you guys later. Until then.